I just got out the barber. Wow. Eyebrows on fleek. The fuck? No, I'm kidding. Like, no. But I'm about to go home. Take a shower. Um, Get ready for work. I'm going to take a nap because I'm tired of this shit, man. Probably this tomorrow and I'm shaving my legs. And so, wow, I look crazy. It's 12 a.m. I left this shit for last minute. And I got a... I have to text my friend how we're going to get there. I know we're getting there by train, but, you know, I don't want her to bear. Because she's the only friend I got. I got going with me. I got more friends, but, you know. And if she bails, I'm going to cry because I really want to go. Wow, you guys must be disgusted. Look at all the acne. Good morning, guys. It's a day of party. And guess what? I'm going along. Cause fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. I'm Wait, so friend. I'm done. I'm ready. I'm ready. Ready. Oh, okay. I don't know if I should lift these up. I don't want to get called a faggot over there, you know. So, this is the look. Harajis. Shorts I made. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What's happening? Oh, my God. My room's a mess. Shirt. Marshalls. Hair. Mine. Wow. Yo, what if I could make some good-ass friends or find myself a boyfriend? Yo, it's going to be lit. Alright guys, I, I'm here and I'm doing it alone, um, I'm here alone, hopefully I make some friends, and I'm in a dirty ass bathroom, and so, I'm nervous, okay, so, I'm in the train, I don't know if I got on the right one,
right, guys. It's time for me to go home. I'm tired. Next year, I'm gonna come even better. I'm gonna look too good. Woo. I'm gonna get myself a man, and I'm bringing my friends. I went alone this year, but it was still good. It was still fun. So, I'm going to Penn Station. I finally fucking found it. I've been walking like the whole day. I had to charge my phone for um, like a good hour at McDonald's. I didn't even eat because I don't eat that type of thing. Oh, but now I gotta buy my ticket home. Alright, so now I'm going to Penn Station. Going home. It's like five already. Takes an hour to get home and I'm tired, so yeah. So much fun! Oh my god, I can't wait for next year. Next year's gonna be a blast. I feel like extra gay now. But it was so much fun. All right, I think I burnt my nose, but we went to fucking Pride, bitch. We went. This is my first time going, and I was so excited. Okay, so let me tell you about my experience since I saw all the videos and how it went and all that. So basically, I was supposed to go with a friend. And so, that night, I was texting a friend, like, what time are we going to get there? What time should we meet up? And all that. And then she goes, oh, my mom's going to start asking who we going with and all that. I was like, fuck. So, I texted her that morning. She was like, you still going? She didn't answer. I was like, fuck. And then I was just like, I was, you know, on social media seeing who else was going. And so, no one wanted to go. And I was like, I mean, people were going, but just not with me, you know. I was like, fuck it, should I go or not? And people were just telling me, just go, you know, you're going to have to wait a whole year to go next time just with your friends. I was like, you know what, fuck it, you're right. So, I went. Ordered the Uber, got ready. This is my outfit. Wow, they look really short, but they're not that short. But this is like tucked in and all that. And I'm like, I look nice. I can't, can't complain. And so... Ordered Uber, got there. I didn't know how to fucking ride a train, so I looked so stupid asking people where the train was going. I needed to go to Hems um, the town I was in, Hempstead, fuck it. I don't even live there. Hempstead to Penn Station. So I bought the ticket. I didn't know what time it was. I had to ask the guy. I asked him like 10 minutes before fucking train left. I was like, wow. So, I get on the train, and I'm just waiting for it to leave, and then I see some guy I used to talk to. I was like, fuck, no, no, no. And it was just me by myself, my dumbass by myself. And I was like, fuck, this looks so stupid. But he got in, like, you know how trains have different sections? I think he got, like, in the first two with his friend. I was like, fuck it. And then so, but I had to transfer it to another train to get to Penn Station. So, I transferred... Oh my god, it was so awkward. I don't know if he saw me. I hope he didn't. Because I tried to hide. It was so... It was so crazy. So, um... I get in. I sit down. And then he comes. But he's just in, like, two rows in front of me. I was like, fuck. I hope he didn't see me, though. Because it would have been awkward. He was like, you here alone? Like, you know, who goes alone? But, oh my, it was, like, the best. I can't wait for next year when I go with my friends. Because, shit, it's going to be lit. But, so, I get there, I, I didn't know what to do, where was the parade, when, I know what time it was starting, but I just didn't know what time, and what time, where it was gonna take place, so I had to search it up, I get to the place, I walk, like, fucking, for, fucking, 20 minutes, yo, my legs were killing me, I'm stretching them out right now, uh, and then, so, so we get there, we, me, I get there, 
I'm just standing there for like a good 25 minutes not knowing. I see people with wristbands. And I'm like, where are they getting that? Do they, like, do you have to pay for that or some shit? No. All I had to do was sign my name to something and then I got it. I was, uh, it, was, it was so hot too. Oh my gosh. So, boom. I get in. I go. There was a, I was this close of getting into one of those floaties that float. Like, not float, but like, you know, go around the parade. The Red Bull one. Until a fat ass bitch. Oh, I'm so sorry. This bitch really pushed me. She didn't push me, but it was just like, oh, excuse me, my friend is in there already. I was like, oh, okay. And then the guy, I guess, controlling the floor, he was like, oh, that's enough people. I was like, really, bitch? Like, really? But then I, I still went in the parade, you know, being in the middle. But then I was like, this is kind of weird because I'm by myself. And like, I was like, can I find, like, can I get out of the parade? So I just got out of it. I went to the side. And then, um, as you saw the videos, because I think I'm going to post the videos before this part of the video. I, um, it was bomb, y'all. I had no one, like, I wasn't with anyone, but bro, I danced with people I didn't even know. I was like, yo, this is crazy. Like, the pride really does, like, it brought the inner, outer, whole, I don't know, everything out of me. I was like... Bang, bang, yo, I was going crazy, and I was like, yo, I don't even know these people, like, I didn't even get their Instagram or anything, that's the sad part, because they were mad chill, and so, oh, the sad part came, my phone hit 8%, I just, I was like, are you fucking serious, man, so, I had to get out of the period, but I think it was ending, because, like, the last couple of floaties were kind of boring, but, so, I didn't really mind, so I got out of it, I had to find water because shit, I was dying in the heat. And then, um, oh my god, my hair bothers me so much. It's so flat. And so, whatever. Um, fuck. I think my nose is burnt. Okay, so, anyways, um, I had to find water. They, they were selling it for mad expensive. You know, New York City. I was like, fuck, man. So. I got water. I had to find a fucking place to charge my phone. Cause I was freaking out because I only had like 3% by the time I was walking around trying to find a outlet. So I went into McDonald's. The, it was a nice one. It was mad fancy. Like, you know those screens with how you order? Like, damn, but I ain't eat because I don't eat that type of shit. So I had to stay there for like an hour. I really did spend an hour just for my phone to get to 0% to 21. I was like, fuck this shit. I got to go. It was like four already, and then I was like, I haven't eaten. The only thing I ate that day was like, um, well, today that day, today in the morning was um, a sandwich I made, and then my protein shake, and then that was it. So I got hungry. I didn't even get food. I just got Starbucks, chocolate croissant, and iced coffee. That was it. And then I headed my way to Penn Station. I got home. Uh, it was such a fun day, yo. Imagine my friends went, yo, it would have been lit. But next year, the way people were dressing, I like, this was nothing. Like, okay, hold on. It was like, I put it like that, you know, making it look nice and everything. I didn't put it that short, but it was like that. My uh, sleeves rolled up and everything. I had, like, Fucking stars on their nipples, fucking glitter all over their chest, fucking crop tops. I look like I just came from fucking the beach or some shit. I don't know. But next year, hopefully, I get to go. Well, I will go no matter what. I'm gonna go. I'm taking all my friends with me. I can't wait to go next year, honestly. And next year, I'm going to get into one of those lit-ass floaties. Because I will be twerking, shaking my ass. I don't care doing anything. It's just... I just felt so, like... What you going to call it? Comfortable, you know? Like, the people I was dancing with, they made it so chill. They made it seem like as if we were friends for months. That's how chill they were. And then when... Yeah. Until next year, guys. This is my first fight, and it was so amazing. Even if I went alone, it was so amazing. 
And I can't wait for next year, because next year, who knows? Thank you guys for watching this video. I know I haven't made a video in so long, but thanks for subscribing, because I, I left with like, what, 90, and now I have like 104. But I know, bitch, I'm thankful, fuck it. And so, I'll see you guys next time. But look at it. Oh my god, I'm so tired. But are you gonna take a nap, yo, and go get real food? Alright. Thank you guys for watching, honestly. Means a lot.